take time to be holy. Speak off with thy love. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him, whatever be time. In joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord, and looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul, each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit to fountains of love, thou shalt soon be fitted for service above. Almighty Father, we lift up our eyes to you that the all time religion will be our portion. The God of heaven will bless us with ease in our time. In Jesus' name, we that you have given it to, Father, grant us grace to trade with it, to work in it, to explore it more. In Jesus' name. And those who have just come in, grant them grace to possess their own. Thank you, Divine Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm talking to you on the truth for self. The truth for self. Can you say it? Exactly. We are selling the truth for people to buy. The truth is for sale in the market of God. For people to buy. Back again to Proverbs chapter 23. We read verse 23. It says, buy the truth. It means there is a place you will find the truth being advertised. But when you buy, don't go and sell it. But there is a market where the truth is sold. The buyers are told never to sell it after they have bought it. But there is a place the truth is advertised. Praise the Lord. There is a place you are to find the truth. And that place is called the church of the living God. In the book of 1 Timothy chapter 3 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse 15 But if I tarry long that thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the, in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. The church of the living God, where the living God inhabits, where God is, where his, it, the, the, the pillar of righteousness is, there you find the truth. There, the truth is for sale. So, I am talking to you by the truth. We are advertising the truth. In this house of God, holiness revival movement, in the body of Christ, we carry the truth and we are advertising it. We are going around and we are saying, by the truth. 
We are carrying the truth as a commodity. We are telling everybody from place to place we go to various places announcing the truth. Advertising the truth. And we are telling the people by the truth. You have come here by invitation. We are happy. You were invited to this. You have been invited to this place. And you are here now. It's time we want to advertise the truth. So that you will obtain the truth. You will buy the truth. Buy it. But when you buy it, don't go and sell it. When you buy the truth, don't go and sell it. That's what God wants you to know. In the book of Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. Matthew chapter 13, I read verse 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in a field, the which when a man had found, he hid it. And for joy thereof, go it and sell it all that he had and buy it that field. It's a treasure. The truth itself is a treasure. The treasure of life. The truth is a treasure of life. Blessedness of life. That if you have this truth, you will be contented, satisfied. If you have this truth, your future will be a blessed future. And that is why we are telling you, buy the truth. Get at it. Get the truth. And we are advertising the truth to you as John advertised him. We are advertising the truth. Look at it in John chapter 1, verse 29. John chapter 1 verse 29 the next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him and said behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world that is advertisement he pointed to him he advertised Jesus to the people Including his disciples, his followers. See him there. The lamp of God. That takes away the sin of the world. See him there. John advertised him. So, I am advertising Jesus today. I am announcing Jesus for you. I am pointing him out. Great Jesus. Magnificent Jesus. Is the truth. That I am advertising to the world today. That I am advertising before you today. I am pointing out the pictures of Jesus. The colors of Jesus. The usefulness of Jesus. The glories of Jesus. The power of Jesus. I am announcing him. I am telling you what Jesus will do in your life. And who is he? He is the truth. That I am telling you buy it today. I am telling you, I'm announcing him. I say, Jesus is ready for you to get him for yourself. By the truth. Look at it in the book of John, chapter 14. Verse 6. John, chapter 14. Verse 6. Can we read it together? John, chapter 14. Verse 6. One, two, go. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and they lie. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. By the truth. For Jesus announces himself as the truth. And the scripture says, by him. Obtain a copy. By is the language of the world. The language of men. That means obtain it for yourself. Get him for yourself. Get the, this thing for yourself. So, I am saying, get Jesus for yourself. Get Jesus for your personal use. As a personal belonging. 
as a personal friend. Get him for yourself. Get him as your Lord. Personally. The one that will rule over your life. The one that will control your life. The one that will control everything you have that belongs to you. Every of your being, your body, your soul, your spirit, all. Jesus will take over it. By the truth, I am advertising him. I am talking to you about Jesus. Yes, I talk to you about him. What a wonderful advertisement. In the book of Acts of Apostles. Acts of Apostles, chapter 8. Advertisement of Jesus. Acts chapter 8, verse 26. The Bible tells us, Acts chapter 8, verse 26. The Bible tells us, And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise, and go toward the south, unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. What is Philip going to do there? He will advertise Jesus in that place. When the Lord said, Come down to Potakot, what am I coming to do? I come to advertise Jesus. So that you have him for your personal possession. Although you will discover that rather it is you that he possesses. You're getting him as your personal Lord. Personal Savior. You get him because he's the truth. Philip went down to meet with the eunuch to advertise Jesus. Now, listen, in verse 27. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, an eunuch of great authority, under Candice, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the church of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship, was returning, and sitting in his chariot, read, read Isaiah the prophet. Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near. And join thyself to this chariot. For what? To advertise Jesus. To advertise. Many people don't know him. That's why Jesus needs to be advertised. That the truth. Which is in a person. Should be obtained. The truth that changes life. Should be obtained. For the truth is in a person. The truth is a person. For I am the truth. I am the truth. The truth is in Christ. And Christ is the truth. Buy him. Get him. Obtain him. Yes. Receive him for yourself. Because of the benefit of the truth. Acts chapter 8. Verse 28. He was returning and sitting on his chariot. Read Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran to advertise Jesus to a man. Philip ran because he's so important in that man's life. Jesus is so important in your life. There are people who advertise drugs. They advertise some food supplement. Supplement drinks or drugs or whatever. They advertise some commodities. And they speak passionately. It will help you. It will change your situation. It will do this. It will do that. We should advertise Jesus above those things. Advertise. Because of what Jesus can do in your life. We need to advertise a Philip Rob. To go and advertise Jesus. Before this Ethiopian you know. And the Bible says. Verse 30. And Philip. Ran Tita to him and had him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? Hmm. He was leading him to Jesus. He began from there, but he was leading him ultimately to Jesus. And he said, How can I, except some man, should guide me? And he desired Philip that he should come up and sit with him. The place of the scripture. Which he read was this. He was laid as a sheep to the slaughter. And like a lamb, dumb before his shearer, so opened he not his mouth. In his humiliation, he
his judgment was taken away. And who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this? Of himself or of some other man? Oh, wonderful. What an opportunity. This man is even asking me a question. This man is even asking me a question. Giving me a proper opportunity for my advertisement. My advertisement will succeed. My advertisement will convert us all. My advertisement will save us all. It's opportunity. Take opportunity to advertise Jesus. Take opportunity in people's lives. In people's confu confusion. In the problems of life that people are having. Seize it as an opportunity to advertise Jesus. I am seizing the opportunity to advertise Jesus over your family problem. Over that family you are having. Family problem you are having. I advertise Jesus. I lift him up and say, if Jesus will come to your family, let him just land in your family. All demons will be crying away out of that family. The tough life that you're seeing there, I'm telling you everything will bow. The booms in that family will get soaked and get softened. The presence of Jesus, all those cats making noise, those bears that are talking up behind your house in the night, they shall flee away. I mean, let Jesus come down to that house. That sickness that rises up every night shall vanish away. I say, let Jesus come into that house. That cry, you are always weeping tears. Your tears shall be wept by Jesus. That matter, that struggle, that, that fight shall come to an end in that family. I'm saying, let Jesus come into that family. I'm saying, all the sorrow of heart, all the pains in your body, all the sicknesses of suffering, it shall wipe away. I say, let Jesus come into that family. All the witches and wizards that are looking at your house as a meeting place, I'm telling you, they shall scatter away. Let Jesus come. By the truth opportunity to advertise jesus in your family i'm telling you things shall change there things shall change there i said things shall change there by the truth that problem you're having in your office the oppression you're finding in your office they say they're not paying you salary just get jesus now i said get jesus he is the salary payer he is the one that pays salary he pays from heaven he does not use nigerian government he does not use dollars. He does not use pound. He uses heavenly money. He can take care of you conveniently. You will feed every day. You will eat every day. I mean, let Jesus come. All those opposition in your house, all those opposition in your workplace, I'm telling you all the fasting, all the dry thing. You are eating dry curry. Everything shall take shape. Hallelujah! I'm advertising Jesus. I say I'm advertising Jesus. What noise is making in your body? The pain that is in your body. What is the name of that sickness? Hey, Jesus. Everybody say Jesus. Jesus. I say mention Jesus. Jesus. Let Jesus come into your life. That sickness, whatever is the name of that sickness. What is the name of that problem? In the name of Jesus, everything shall bow. Your sickness will disappear. Your pain will disappear. The swelling thing in your life will disappear. I'm telling you, you will regain. You will regain. Hallelujah. Glory to our God. I'm telling you, you will go with Jesus today. You will go with Jesus today. Situation shall change. I say situation shall change. You are going to have a smile. You who have always been in sorrow. You have always been in sorrow. Smile. Joy. Happiness. Gladness. Peace. Rest. Hey. It shall be your portion. Hey. I say it shall be your portion. You don't know Jesus. I will make you know him. You have stayed away from him, so you are suffering. Jesus is not happy that you are in that situation. Jesus is not happy. Demons are troubling you. All those things you bought are fake. You buy demon. Demon is affecting. It will never work. I say it will never work. Demons are the one troubling you. 
that charm you have in your house is the reason of your problem it's a deceit or oh, let the original come jesus is original jesus is the beginning jesus is the ending jesus is the alpha jesus is the omega jesus is forever jesus is everlasting almighty power belong to jesus let him come that demon shall fly let him come demon shall fly let him come demon shall fly is for sale I say Jesus is for sale for he is the truth of life the ignorance has been your problem ignorance has been your problem for a long time you are in confusion that confusion sickness shall vanish because Jesus is knowledge Jesus is understanding Jesus is light Jesus is the truth Jesus is what 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 and let, let Jesus come your brain shall become sharp your mind shall become sharp your understanding shall come alive let jesus come into your life you will know you will know people will know that you know people will say that you will know you yourself will declare that you know foolishness shall vanish away from you all those people are cheating you because of ignorance that shall cease in your life hey, jesus is coming on your way I said Jesus is coming on your way. Bishop Jesus is coming on your way. I said Jesus is coming on your way. Receive him. Receive him. Receive him. Get Jesus for yourself. That's the power of life. <laughs> That's the power of life. Power is in Jesus. Power is in his blood. Power is in his word. Power is in his name. Power is in everything. We still everything about Jesus is power. Everything about Jesus is power. The superior power, greater power, greater power, omnipotent power. Get that power into your life and break through life. Get that power into your life and change change circumstances. Jesus is creator. He will create things in your life. I am advertising Jesus. I am advertising Jesus. Jesus is the creator. Your problem, I mean, your, your problem is that you have lost some part of your body. That thing, Jesus shall, shall create it again. He shall create it again. The relationship that has been lost shall revive. It shall revive. In Jesus' name. They have told you that you will not give birth to child your womb is damaged your oh you don't have the productive system you don't have, let jesus come in he was the one that created those things he will create them again he will create your womb again he will create your reproductive system amen it's a mighty god Jesus is the mighty God. I say Jesus is the mighty God. I say Jesus is the mighty Lord. Every power bows before him. Every power bows before him. Even Satan bows before him. Man and woman bow before him. I say, Jesus is the mighty Lord. Every problem bows before him. I say, every problem bows before him. I say mighty Lord I say Jesus is the mighty Lord I say Jesus is the mighty Lord I say Jesus is the mighty Lord Every sickness bows before him I say every sickness bows before him you can 
will sit down happily and telling you the product that will get that matter over has come. He is the almighty being, almighty creator, the maker of our lives. He wants to take his seat in your life. Are you ready? Are you ready? Things will change. Your sorrow will be taken away. I see we should have started praying to him already. But let me advertise him more. Let me, because you will have advertisement and also advertise Jesus where you go. Are you hearing me? I'm going to tell you about the benefits of Jesus. The benefits. Get Jesus. Is there benefit in him? Buy this truth. Is there benefit in Christ? Yes. Salvation from sin. She shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Yes. Matter of sin. When Jesus comes, whatever is that sin in your life, whatever is the bad character, people have been talking about bad character. They say your own is bad, bad and bad. To the point they say it's the worst of, in fact, something that you're worst of sinners in the world. But whatever it is, Jesus will make a difference in your life. That character will change. That anger, anger, terrible anger will be taken away. The power of immorality that is moving upon your body as if it has mixed up with your blood goes to your head, comes down to your feet. If you see the, uh, the opposite side, your whole body is shaking. It, your body shall be pe at peace now. Yeah. Jesus will bring peace to your body. Yeah. Your mind will be at rest. Yeah. I'm telling you, get Jesus to where sin is. It will be settled. All smoking. Don't, that terrible drug. You are taking drugs. And you don't know how to get over from it. Your struggle, struggle. Don't struggle anymore. It will happen peacefully. It will happen peacefully. When Jesus comes into your life, that issue shall vanish. Drug abuse shall vanish in your life. By the power of Jesus. Whatever is your problem, my brother, you, have, you, are, you steal. And you don't know where it happens. You tell lies. You don't know how to, what to do about it. Woman! The way you're treating your husband is bad. The secret thing you're doing is you wish you have stopped it, but you don't know what. Thank God. Congratulations. I lift up Jesus. I lift up Jesus. I lift up Jesus. That matter shall die. That problem in your life shall die. Your sinful life shall vanish. You are the queen in the coast. Queen of the coast. The demons have anointed, have anointed you. And you know that this is terrible. The wickedness you do, you hate it. You don't know what to do. You say, hey, they have taken me to this society. They have locked me there. You are coming out. Yeah. I say you are coming out. Yeah. Everybody that will block you, the Lord shall pull him down. Yeah. The Lord shall march upon him. Yeah. You are coming out. The power of God shall break the power of the devil in your life. He shall put all those laws, all those your oppressors shall be put into prison. And you will come out. And the Lord shall give angels in church of you. They shall guide you in the name of Jesus. And nobody shall temper with you. Freedom is your own. I say freedom is your own. Hey, you have been looking for how to go to heaven. Heaven has come now. The one that has the key of heaven. The one that has the key of heaven. The one that made the mansion of heaven. He is the one coming to your life. You will be in heaven. You will be in heaven. Jesus shall give you a place. He shall give you a place. He shall give you a place. I'm telling you, Jesus. Ah, wonderful. Give a clap of free. Solution has come. I say solution has come. The solution has come. Jesus has come into your life. Amen. Yes. Oh, victory over the devil. Total freedom over the devil. The Bible, do you know something? The Bible tells us in Hebrews 2, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14. It tells us here about this Jesus. It says. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, 
that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Hey, thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm advertising you today. Some people were born witches and wizards, and they didn't know. In fact, they came into the world already having two worlds one evil world, the other, the normal natural world. They find themselves naturally to be witches and wizards. They find themselves that they have been initiated right from the womb and that they belong to the mummy world. They find themselves and they don't know anymore. But they hear, uh, by the way they're hearing it, this other world is an evil way. It's ruled by Satan. They even mix with demons. Oh Lord Jesus, they mix with demons. They eat with demons. They drink human blood. They eat human flesh. Lord Jesus, they kill people. Some have even killed their parents. Some have killed their relations. Lord Jesus, I'm telling them what you can do. I'm telling you what, telling them what you can do in their life. I'm telling them you will break that yoke because you that brought them to this world didn't bring them witches and wizards. You didn't bring them as in the people initiated to darkness. See, the Bible said because we are human beings of flesh and blood, Jesus came down. The Son of God, the Creator, the Savior, Master of the Universe. He came down in flesh and blood like we like we are so that he will handle that devil for your information i'm lifting up jesus for your information i'm advertising jesus he will handle that your devil that that evil spirit you call mama hey they shall fall the hate of that evil spirit they shall fall the hate they shall fall her head jesus shall throw her up and angels shall play football I'm telling you, hi, I'm all the power of the law. Break every yoke here. Break every yoke here. Break every yoke here. Loose the people by the authority of Jesus. Let the yoke be broken. Let your power be broken. Let every evil spirit be destroyed. The power of Jesus accomplishes it. The power of Jesus accomplishes it. That's what we're saying. That he became flesh and blood with us. To handle that matter. That's why today we will rejoice because you're going to breathe out the breath of peace. You will sleep well. For your first time, you will sleep well. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hey, they said they poison you. You had the story that they put poison in your food. When you were young and it is the reason why you're not succeeding success is coming now yeah. all poisons in your body shall die yeah. hmm. hallelujah yeah. i'm talking about jesus i'm talking about almighty power all the powers of poison all things turn to turn your brain to turn your womb to turn your mind to turn your head to turn anything, the Creator shall turn it back. The Creator shall turn it back. All the keys of hell that locked your doors, your door shall be open. Your door shall be open. Jesus said, I have the keys of life. I have the keys of hell. I have the keys of death. They say you must die. They are pushing you. Jesus will lock up the door of death. You will never enter death. They will not be able to send you out. By, by the power of Jesus. I'm advertising. Just receive him. Just receive him. Just get him. Just buy the truth. Accept him. Surrender to him. He shall walk by itself. I say he shall walk by itself. When you take medicine, do you know how the medicine works? Are you seeing it? Take in Jesus. I said, take in Jesus. You will see how it will work eventually. In Jesus' name. Sit down. We're advertising Jesus. Mm. I said, we're advertising Jesus. You, will you buy him? Will you buy the truth? But who you but don't sell it. Don't 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 deny Jesus. Don't don't 
leave Jesus. Stay with him. Stay with him. Don't allow the devil to tell you any other thing. Because the devil is powerless in his presence. Yes, Jesus is the almighty healer. He heals from sicknesses. As I'm talking now, I can see you. That's the end of that sickness. By the power of Jesus. By the power of Jesus. He's putting an end to your sickness. He walks above drugs. He is the all wise God. He knows how to do it. He knows how to feed you with balanced diet. He knows everything. So, the Bible says, He bore not only our sin, but our sickness. All sickness in your body. All sickness in anywhere. Solution has come. Solution has come. Woman, your menstrual pain is coming to an end today. You are going to rejoice. I say you are going to rejoice. Because it shall be done. By the power of Jesus. He bore your sickness. What's your sickness brother? What's your sickness my sister? An end has come. By the authority of Jesus. An end has come. Yes. Our sister. You remember the story. The testimony in the morning. Of uh, the, how Jesus came and removed bullets. Remember it? How Jesus came and cleared all those things out. And the sister came out. I was walking until her leg kicked a bucket. And the bucket made noise. And the husband ran in and said, Hey, what has happened? I'm telling you, manifestation will come in your life. <laughs> manifestation will strike your life. And the people shall be surprised. In the day of Jesus. <laughs> yes, the almighty healer. He opens the eyes of the blind. He opens the, de- the ears of the deaf. The mouth of the dumb. He rushes the dead. He quickened he quickens paralyzed body paralyzed body parts he quickens it again he calls your he purifies blood that's what he does he strengthens the bones that's what jesus christ does he makes your brain to be sound he makes your mind to be quickened and to perform well that is jesus i'm advertising him come 24 7 what does that mean what does that mean for Jesus Christ came. He said, Satan came to give you 24-7 of suffering. I have come for 24-7 of abundant life. 24-7 of abundant life. You are getting your portion today. You are getting your portion today. 24-7 of peaceful life. It's your portion today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Is already falling on some of you. I can see it upon you. Coming already on you. 24 7. Healthy living. Peaceful living. Joyful living. Complete living. Happy living. In Jesus' name. He is the Prince of Peace. Are you looking for peace in the family and you're looking tough? Let Jesus come there. When he sits there, watch that family all the demons causing that peaceless life will vanish from that place yeah. <laughs> hallelujah yeah. did it happen to you it happened to me one of these times rat was giving me problem in the house rats everywhere noise in the night you wait you are sleeping you jump up because they, something uh, something is as if falling somewhere and this rat some of them will stand and be watching you like this <laughs> 24 7 of rat problem. Then somebody said, Go and take a cat. Just bring a cat and keep him there in the house. A cat came to the house. Where are the rats that were here? They have gone. <laughs> Where are the rats? Where are they? They have gone. Let Jesus come to where? There is 24 7 of noise making in the family. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Let him just sit there. Those things will vanish. Amen. Those noise will vanish. Amen. Always make sure Jesus is there. Be in contact with him. 
I always be, be having discussion with him. He, he said, I'm the prince of peace. I'm the one that rules in peace. I am the king of peace. Master of peace. He will give you wisdom of how to make peace. He will give you the weights of, of peacemaking. In Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Yes, he is, the, he is the prosperity giver. Prosperity is coming on your way. Yeah. Yes, it's coming from Jesus. A path, wind will blow around you. The Lord said, Go, Moses, tell the children of Israel that they will eat flesh. I'm going to bring meat for them. Moses said, ah, is it, do you mean the cows of the children of Israel, you will kill it? If, if you kill all these cows, how many days will it take? He said, I'm not going to temper with one cow. Just go and tell them that they're going to eat meat. When the Lord said, you're going to prosper, say, ah, is it that the government will start paying salary? That will be additional. <laughs> I said, that one will be additional. <laughs> The wind will blow. The Lord released the wind of prosperity. And the wind blew. Before you know it, birds in their billions. Wherever they are, they were created new. They came from creation. From the place where they were created. And the Lord, I created you for the children of Israel. Move! They were coming. And that is where, how they covered the land of Israel. The people who say, all these onions, were, 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 all these things we're eating, manna, we're too tired of it now. We need, to, we need sea meat. This, the Bible said until it was coming through their nose. Maybe the person was eating and he was coughing at the same time. <laughs> and the thing came out through his nose. He said, Kai, we pepe. So the thing was, the nose was burning out of Pepe. So that they should, they should not try God. But you, your own is coming out of goodwill. Yeah. Prosperity. Yeah. Let the wind of prosperity blow upon your life. Yeah. And situation will change around you. Yeah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. This is wonderful. This, you, will, you will embrace Jesus. Just bless you, Father. Eternal life. You have been singing. Eternal, eternal life. I want to live eternal life. Save my soul. I want to live eternal life. God save my soul. Eternal. Sing eternal. I want to live eternal life. God save my soul. I want to live eternal life. God save my soul. Eternal life. The blessed life. The life Satan missed. The life that is Jesus. For he is eternal life. The most pleasant type of life. The greatest type of existence. The highest form of living. Perfect. Exquisite. Excellent. Majestic. Glorious. Fantastic, magnificent, eternal, everlasting. You have it. You have it. Get Jesus to get it on the Lord. Get Jesus to get it on the Lord. And I, I, I lift him up before you. I lift up Jesus before you. Yes. You live forever. A life above evil. A life above the wickedness of life. A life above the devil. A life above demons. A life above hellfire. The 
life of godly man is the lasting joy, power, glory, all, happiness, gladness, everything. That is the consummation of life. That is where life attains its fullness. That is where life comes to perfect existence. Eternal life. You don't need anything to be added again. Added to. Eternal life. Life has finished. All perfection has finished. All is finished. You have been exalted to the, to the, to the life of God. That's the highest form of existence. And it is forever. It's your own. Get Jesus, you get eternal life. Get Jesus, you have eternal life. You're not afraid of death. Paul said, if I close my eyes in death, I appear before Jesus. Right before the Lord. Because I have gotten eternal life. It shall be yours. Buy the truth. How do you buy? Is it with money? No, it's not with money. Buy it with faith. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. It's faith. Just believe. Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Just believe. Believe and you will be saved. What is it? The word is near thee. Even in thy mouth. The word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt, uh, if thou shalt believe in thine heart. On the Lord Jesus. That God raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Right now as you are. These things are coming upon you at a moment. The power of God is coming at a moment. And in a short time, you will be dressed up white. I mean, the garment of whiteness, garment of righteousness, will come upon your life now. As you stretch forth to us, Lord Jesus, where am I? I have made up my mind. I'm going with you home today. I accept you today. I believe in you today. Yes. And the spirit and the bride, we that are baptizing Jesus, that know what is in him, that have possessed him and enjoy him, the spirit and the bride say, come. Holy Ghost is saying, come to Jesus. The church is saying, come to Jesus. And let him that hear it say, come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Rise up upon your feet. You are invited. You are invited to Jesus. Raise up your hand and welcome him. Welcome Jesus into your life. You are invited. You are invited. Suck yourself in him. Buy the truth. Get Jesus. Obtain him by faith.
to Jesus into my heart. into your soul. Pray it. Pray it out now. Talk it to Jesus. Repent of your sins. Turn away from your evil eye. Tell Jesus to come in. Tell Jesus to take over your life. Confess to him. If you have prayed the prayer of repentance with all your heart and you mean you have decided to follow Jesus with the whole of yourself, lay hand upon your chest. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. You are going to receive a permanent, not visitor, a resident savior. 
He is coming into your life. Hey, life has come. I said, beauty has come. In the name of Jesus. Almighty Father, we make request that Jesus Christ, you will come into the lives of these people according to your word. As many as received you, you give them power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe in your name. Now, God, I say, let your power come down upon their life. Let their life change by power. In the name of Jesus. By your power, let sin be destroyed in their life. In the name of Jesus. Unlock divine. Victory over sin. Give it to them over every kind of sin. In the name of Jesus. Let the power of righteousness come upon their lives right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, take over their lives. Let them become new creatures. If any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. Father, make them new creatures. All things are passed away. Let their former lifestyle be gone. Let it never be surfaced in their lives anymore. In the name of Jesus. We worship you, God. Dislodge them from the devil. In the name of Jesus. We cover them with your blood. We wash them with your blood. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, deliverance from every satanic oppression, satanic entanglement, secret society, witchcraft, every demonic oppression, anything that has to do with the devil, poison, the Lord is coming for you. Are you happy? Yeah. Raise up your hand before the Lord. Yes, the power of the Lord. The power of the Lord. Lord, you will contain for your children. You will contain for your people. They have submitted unto you. They are your children. The devil is oppressing them. The devil is forcing them. Oh God, by your word I come today. Standing as the messenger of God. With the power of God in my life. For you have said. These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. You call your apostles. You give unto them power. Over all devils. To cast them out. And to heal all manner of sickness. And all manner of disease. Right now by the fire of God. I come against the devil. In the lives of these people. By the fire of God. I come against the devil in the families of these people, in the businesses of these people, in the bodies of these people. Devil, get out from their lives. By the authority of Jesus, I destroy you. I destroy you. I destroy you. In the name of Jesus, I come on fire for your life. 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 I will block you now. Get out. In the name of Jesus. 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 I come out. All those people on that demonic bondage. Be loosed. Be loosed. Be loosed. Come out from witchcraft. Come out from secret society. I break the power. I break every investment of Satan in your body. Extra eye, I destroy you. Extra ear, demonic ear, destroy you. Anything swallowed into the stomach, ring in the stomach, amulet in the stomach, be destroyed. Be destroyed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In 
Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Catch fire. Holy Ghost 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 fire. All you spirit of the old woman, vanish from their lives. In the name of Jesus. All you spirit of God, get up and die in their lives. I destroy you in their lives. You spirit wife, catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All the powers of witchcraft, die. in the water that these people are taking to in the air in the law I come against your kingdom judgment upon your kingdom judgment upon your kingdom you captains you queens you queens you whatever is your name call collapse 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 Jesus name. Jesus name. I break every power of oppression in your life. Receive freedom. Receive freedom. It is done. Hallelujah. He has done so much for me. He has taken away my soul. I say, Jesus did so much for my life. Every sickness is gone. Whatever man of sickness. Get it, you will march upon it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lay hand upon that body. And let's see what the Lord is doing for you now. Ah, the Lord has come by himself. The Lord has come by himself. The Lord will handle that thing by himself. By the power of Jesus. That sickness is going. The fire of the Lord shall consume it. The fire of the Lord shall consume it. Almighty God, I bring your power to bear. Upon the bodies of the children, upon the lives of the children, your Lord says, "Be my that you shall lay hands upon the sick, and the sick shall recover." These ones here we have laid hands upon them. Jesus gave authority over all manner of sickness and over all manner of disease to heal them. Right now, I come by this authority. All manner of sickness. All man of disease, you will be healed. I command healing to come upon your body. I command healing to come upon your body. Lay the waters of healing. Wash those things out of your life. In the name of Jesus. From your head, anything moving in your head, I destroy it. Any fever, any pain, I command silence. I command peace in the name of Jesus. To your eyes, to your ears, to your nostrils, I clear every darkness there. Every pain, be healed. Be healed. Every blindness of the eyes, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Every deafness of the ear, pain in the ear, be healed. Be healed. Every dumbness of the tongue, but the stammering of the lips, I say be healed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every mental problem, unnatural forgetfulness, I destroy it in your life. And I lose you from it. Be liberated. Be liberated. In the name of Jesus, all high blood pressure, diabetes, any sickness that has to do with the blood, cancer in the blood, by the power of God, 
receive healing. From Jesus, receive healing. From Jesus, receive healing. Be healed from diabetes. Be healed from cancer. Be healed from high blood pressure. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You sickle cell in the blood. I command a change of blood. I command purifying of the blood. In the name of Jesus. Receive healing. Receive deliverance. I command a sick family. All the sickness, trouble in the family vanish out. Jesus has taken over. Let hell be enjoyed by that family in Jesus' name. All sicknesses of the boom, weak bones, pain in the bones, the crack in the bones, whatever I command killing upon the bones. Be healed in your bones. Be healed in your bones. In the name of Jesus. Every pain in your chest, pain in your stomach, pain in your back, I command you to try to shout from their lives. Get out from their lives. In the name of Jesus. Families without children, any form of barrenness, every form of delay that is not the will of God, I reverse it. I reverse it. And I say, let your body become reproductive. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every kind of swelling thing, fibroid in your womb, guaita in your neck, so appendix, high near, whatever is that swelling, disappear. Disappear. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Every ounce of vanish. Yes, pile, vanish. Syphilis, vanish. HIV, vanish. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I lose you now. I lose you now. You are not standing straight. Stand straight. Any damaged part of your body, recover. Recover. Your whole 360 degrees. Make whole. Make whole. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, so, so wonder, Jesus, they do. I say, na so so miracle, Jesus they do. Yeah. your bed and has you got your tea. He has got out your bed and has you got your tea. I should not fear. <laughs> I say the Lord says I should tell you. The Lord 
Jesus says I should tell you. He said I should not worry. He said I should not worry. Jesus said I shall be there. Your poverty shall be tempered by God. Amen. Prosperity is coming on your way. Amen. You shall have food to eat. Amen. You shall have clothes to wear. Amen. Your needs shall be met by our God. Raise up the hands in his honor. Change is coming on your way. Divine visitation. That woman that has only one bottle of oil, she became a rich woman. Jesus wants to change your history. I see I, I can see it done. I see him, I can see him remove some clothing of of burden from people's life. I see him removing load out of your life. The Lord is bringing abundance. The Lord is bringing in abundance. Almighty God, the Father of abundance. We are before you for your abundance. Your children need your abundance. Their families need your abundance. Oh God, that he opens the windows of heaven. The God that brought down manna from heaven. The God, oh Lord, that released your power. Israel was 40 days, 40 years, and their clothes never faded away. Release your power for these people. Release your power for these people. My brother, receive the visitation of God. Receive the visitation of God. My sister, receive the visitation of God. Receive the visitation of God. In the name of Jesus. Let God wipe away your tears. Let your history change. Your history has changed. Your history has changed. Woman, your history has changed. Your history has changed. Man, your history has changed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The God of multiplication has come to you. He shall multiply you. He shall multiply your resources. He shall multiply your blessing. In the name of Jesus. Receive. 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 In Jesus' name. Share it with others. Share it with others. Shake your brother, share it with him. Share it with your sister. Shake your hand. Share it. Share it. You will share the blessings of God. You will share the goodness of the Lord. Your, your knees shall come, catch great fish. You will need to call your other people and share it. And share it. Be honored. Be honored. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray.
Imakobeli. I say, in my life. Brother, in my life. Sister, in my life. I say, in The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior.
Jesus, I believe. 